Sculpt tools freeze. So freezing is we can lock the vertices so they cannot be modified when we sculpt things. So in our sculpt tools we scroll over and we get to freeze. And we can set our size and our strength. So the, the more, the stronger the strength, the less it will be. So let's just say I come in here and I do this. All right, so the area of the blue cannot be altered. If it's barely blue, it can be a little bit altered. If it's deep blue, it cannot be altered. So now I'm going to go in and just do some sculpting. And I'll just draw a line right across. You see that it cannot sculpt in the blue areas. Where it's deep blue, it doesn't sculpt. Or a little bit of blue, a little bit of sculpt. Again, you can see how that prevents it from sculpting. All right. So if I just want to cross here, so boom, you can see how the blue prevents it from sculpting. All right. Now, how do we get rid of the, the, the freeze? We go up to edit and we say unfreeze all and boom, we get rid of the freeze. So um, also I can come in here and I can go over here and say freeze. And I'm going to go get out of there. Hey. I'll say freeze, and I'll do this, boink, boink, and I can go up, and I can go over here, and I can invert the freeze, so it'll flip-flop it, so that will allow me only to model in the invert of the freeze, so now when I go back and sculpt, right, I can only sculpt in those areas that are the inverted of the freeze. And remember, to get rid of the freeze, I go unfreeze all. So freeze is a very nice way if we have some area we don't want to affect. Um, you know, it's a great way to lock it down and make sure that we don't affect those areas. So freezing locks the affected vertices while you sculpt.